Yo, what is going on, everybody? Stockopolis Jack here, bringing you another video. And today, we're going to be talking about SGOC or SGOCO group. Now, as you can see, what a massive day 279.46% and up another 13 and a half, roughly percent after hours. Wow. Now, if you got in this morning on this stock congratulations what a run up and as you can see this is a stock that's not common at all 207,000 average volume and the volume today was 120.5 million that is just insane now what's the reasoning for this spike i'm willing to bet you guessed it what happened as you can see there was no news released to trigger this move and so once again another short squeeze and as you can see, they go on to say, the company has a market cap now over one billion. And it's just under one billion currently, but only four million in 2020 revenue and three million in cash on its balance sheet. And it's currently unprofitable. So, like, do I think this is a good buy now? Uh, very, very, very risky in my own opinion. But of course, do your own due diligence, because this company obviously was a short squeeze target, and it was very successful. Now, I don't know if this can run up more on Monday or Tuesday. Of course, you're going to hear different opinions. But I'm just here to show you some more facts about this short squeeze and how many more shorts have to cover borrow fees and whatnot. So let's get right into that. So currently, there are zero short shares available. Now, that is big, obviously. So they can't short it anymore. And I'm willing to bet, I'm not 100% sure that today was the day they had to buy back in and news got out because... When that happens with these small stocks, it's going to go through the roof once it grabs hype. Like, so basically, it was sitting at roughly 2 to $3 before this build up. So it's up almost 300% in total. And it was up over 350 earlier today, which is insane before this little sell off. Which, I mean, why wouldn't you sell it for a quick profit? But unfortunately, I didn't know about this stock. But if any of you guys got into this, congratulations. Now, I'd like to know what you're still holding, or did you take some quick profits? So as you can see, like I just said, the zero shorts available. Now let's get right into their fees. Now, these we usually see some bigger fees. These are 12% and whatnot, but there's a load of them. 11%, you know, 12, 10, 11%. But there's a load of shares here. Now, whether or not, you know, it actually spikes it even more is is questionable of course you know this video is not financial advice i'm just bringing you these facts you gotta do your own research but this up an awful lot you know already today and you know if it keeps going up that's amazing but it could reach its end already but of course i'm not sure and i just wanted to explain what exactly they works we read about their financials Basically, they design, develop, and manufacture phase change material storage systems for applications on cooling and heating systems in mainland China and Hong Kong. The company's products include phase change material thermal energy storage products, LCD, LED monitors, and TV product related and application specific products. As you can see, it is involved in many money lending services and property leasing and management activities. And they have fintech and IT support services. Now, this, like I said, this stock obviously was a shorting. It was the shorting was what rose the price of it. They got poor numbers, not the best financials, whatnot. But you know, it's your own risk if you want to get into this stock. But of course, do your own DD. I appreciate you all for watching. Have a fantastic day.